Okay, so I want to do a, uh, I guess you could call it an unboxing video. I don't know, I just wanted to show a neat little thing that came here from Microchip uh, today. So what I did is I went and ordered a uh, Curiosity HPC, or high pin count, uh, development board directly from Microchip. Uh, via their uh, Microchip Direct site, because they had a, um, what you call it, they had a sale on. So, you know, it was even cheaper than on Element 14. Also known as Newark.com. Uh, so I thought it was pretty cool. Go get one of these for uh, developing some uh, applications with these. There we go. That yeah, beauty. So there's a 8-bit uh, <clears throat> uh, microcontroller here. It's an 18 uh, series. No, no, it's a 16. Pick 16. Oh, crap. Well, I don't even like putting the high, the most high-end one, which is the uh, PIC-18. These uh, ICs, you really got to hold it at the right angle so you can actually see the uh, number on it. So that's is a PIC-16F-18, well, 18875. All right. And uh, eh, I guess they decided to use this uh, sp particular uh, model for both... Uh, for basically mixed signal use, so both uh, digital and analog. And also comes in with a, uh, another PIC-16 uh, IC here, which is upside down in relation to the rest of the board. Let's see what this thing says. If we can zoom in. I'm just going to try and do the digital zoom. So it's a PIC-24F. J256, okay, so that's a 16-bit, not an 18-bit. i take that back. Okay, so let's get some neat stuff on here. It's got the, uh, well, in my opinion, the, the micro buses really aren't all that great and wonderful. I'd rather have, like, a P-Mod or something. Because micro is so ungodly it's overpriced with their uh, click boards versus the P-Mods. And also, the P-Mods don't eat up all the freaking real estate on the board. But anyways... Got a little uh, pot here, which is pretty cool. And uh, when I was first turned this thing, it felt like they put like dirt or something inside because it was making like this uh, like crackling or hissing sound. Not hissing sound, but like crackling sound, like there was something uh, it was rubbing against. I don't know. Now it's pretty smooth, which is pretty, which is good. And uh, as you can see, it's got, uh, the arrow is actually uh, deep enough in there so you could just take a screwdriver or something and uh, I guess fine tune it or whatever. And there's two little push button switches here so I'll plug this in to uh, show you what the four LEDs are all about. Alright, there we go. So, you have uh, the two switches on the sides here. I mean, the uh, you have the two LEDs on the uh, left side there for each uh, push button switch to show that they're on. The other one here is for the pot. So when you start to really turn this uh, potentiometer the one way, you can see that LED starts to fade out and eventually turns off. See that? And yeah, the camera's not the greatest for the brightness. But yep, this one here is continuously on. I don't know quite exactly what that one's all about, but I do know if you uh, push the uh, reset if you hold that on, it'll, you know, turn it off. And of course, you got your power. And there's a little uh, jumper here, or a shunt, whatever you want to call it, for uh, determining whether it's a 3-volt or a 5-volt uh, output to what? I'm not 100% sure. I would assume it's to the board here. I mean, not the board. To the uh, IC here, you know, to your microcontroller. So I guess if you want to use maybe Atmel stuff on the uh, Curiosity, uh, you can do that. I'm not exactly sure when the uh, HPC was built, because I know Microchip, uh, as of April 2016, they bought out Atmel, so, you know, Atmel's basically owned by, uh, well, it is owned by Microchip, so maybe that's why they threw in the 5-volt uh, or 3.3-volt uh, uh, control here or whatever, you know, so you can decide whether you want one type of voltage or the other, so you probably pop a uh, Atmel into this thing. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. And uh, not, I gotta check the data sheet on this one. But the ones that I found 
to be the most suitable for my purpose is the uh, 1779 series. So the uh, PIC 16, seven, seven, yeah, 1775, uh, oh, sorry, 1779, here we go. Yeah, yeah, PIC 16 uh, F1779s, uh, those are the ones that I like the best because these have the most um, analog uh, features uh, built into them. So this, these are, there's very few chips, there's probably like eight, I think, in the whole series, beginning with the 1788s or 87s or something like that, up to the 1779s. These being the most uh, featured and also the most uh, expensive ones uh, that have all the analog uh, stuff inside of them. These ones are really nice. I think this has like four comparators or something into it, and um, I'm not sure about multipliers. I don't think so. It might or might not. Of course, uh, like pretty much everything else that Microchip uh, produces, for some reason, like everything they have has a uh, configurable logic block or, or two in them. So this has a few, I think this has like a few in those in here. I think it has at least two uh, configurable logic blocks. I gotta check the data sheet, but uh, that's what I'll be using is one of these guys uh, by pl you know plugging one of those into this thing. And again, that to uh, basically just have a nice development platform instead of having to pop this in my breadboard and play around with jumpers and crap. You know? So anyways, there's not much else that comes with this thing. Unfortunately, you don't get a um, power cord or anything. This came from something else. You know, this uh, USB cable. So you got to basically supply your own cable when you uh, buy this thing. Don't ask me why. It's got the uh, packaging list, registration, whatever. And uh, basically, this is a little quick start guide here, which I went through. And basically, it just shows you what the features are. You know how to power up, you basically plug a micro USB into it. Um, there's a lot of tutorials that they have on uh, microchips. Um, Was it like a dot? I think it's called dot wiki or something. I forget. Uh, but it's like they're a w wiki uh, for uh, developers or whatever. They have the uh, tutorials on there for this thing. But, uh, anyways, here's the uh, pinout. Right? And uh, as you can see, they have two sockets, uh, one nested within the other. Which is really nice. So you got 40 pin, you got your uh, 28 pin uh, socket. So that's really cool. And it tells you what all the uh, different you know pinouts are and everything. So that's all right. And you got your tech support on here. So it's really minimalistic. I'm kind of surprised, but uh, yeah, it's fine. I mean, especially that uh, they have like a sale on, so you can get this thing for like 23 bucks or something. 22, 23. Although you spend the original price, which was about $32 for this thing, uh, when you include the shipping, so. Eh, that's pretty good, though. I mean, the other stuff that I have is like this little, uh, knockoff Arduino, you know, which I'm not... This is really cool for pretty much uh, any basic application, but, you know, for something that has more mixed signal capability to it, I wanted to get this dev board from uh, Microchip so I can start playing around with these uh, analog ICs for uh, my own applications. And yeah. So, uh, thanks for kind of zoom in. I mean, focus. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll definitely be sure to uh, put up any kind of neat videos or whatever uh, in the future when I start developing uh, different applications with these things. And uh, thanks for watching.